an essential recalibrating portal for our society in which we can come here on this pilgrimage to the desert and have a larger than life experience and then bring that sense of optimism and hope and fulfillment back into our daily lives. We're going on a cruise in the Tusha, the Lumerian love boat. <laughs> Goes out tonight. <laughs> the otters have the best dressed humans here in the world. And the most beautiful goddesses. <laughs> I'm going to do the pink heart on your chest like right now, and I'm going to glitterize it too. And I'm just going to, you know, the hair is part of it because, God, I love hair. <laughs> at Otter Camp is to create this morphic field of, of love. And we invite people into that field. And it's pretty remarkable. People, year in, year out, come to Otter Camp and their hearts open and they say that it's always one of their highlights and they really can feel the love. that energy on Latusha out to the playa and we invite people in to our camp and we feed them and we massage them and we have quality music. We had a little ritual where we took water that was special to us and added it to the fountain. And it's just grown over the years, you know. We got hooked up with the Otter Clan, that's how it became Omar's Otter Oasis. I started it with a small pond that was a seed, and it grew into this. <laughs> and uh, once I had the, the seed planted, these people, these otters, they're really good at uh, growing stuff. Jeff and I and Omar and Mars pretty much started the camp. Um, with just a small group of folks, and it has grown and um, gathered more more parts of our community as the years have gone by. Well, once you have a bunch of families together, it creates this this small thing called a clan, which is at least ten families make a clan. They said, well, what do we do? Well, we play all summer long at these festivals and put up tents. And we said, let's call ourselves the Otters after an animal which has always seemed so playful. <laughs> Support each other is very, very deep spiritually, and it's very, very deep emotionally. So I got my kid here, my three-year-old, and he gets to run around and play with some of the best people I know all day long, and share with them. And I think he grows more in his few days here than most of the rest of the year combined. Yeah, we have a lot of fun together. We uh, get frumpy together, and then we get through it. Um, <laughs> I resist a little bit every year, but once I get here. Um, it, I've regained a lot more faith about the human family. And all the rest of the 
rest of our friends on the outside. You can go all the way around. Uh, the tradition here at the Otter Oasis is that we create a vibrant energy field of love because we believe that at Burning Man, you can live your dreams. And our dream is a world where everybody supports each other in being their most delicious, yummy, fun, loving selves. And we have an oasis which for us represents that more and more precious element of water. All of us here at this camp, we come together with different ideas and different styles and different toys and we commingle all of those and our energies together to create a magical dance. This beautiful oasis represents for us a commingling of our spirits peacefully and gracefully. So we'd like to now invite all of you to add your magic to this camp, starting with water that many of you have brought on your pilgrimages to this sacred place together into our fountain. It includes water from every continent, every ocean, and every major river on this planet. This is water from Bali. I got the water of life from each and every one of you. And another step in and raise the energy. And another step in and raise the energy. Thank you, everyone. transformation which I can't think of a better place and a better family to go through all of my processes with the community is really strong and very supportive and I feel really loved it's a level of, of feeling so good about being involved in the community that your first impulse is to just give and do without anybody telling you what, where can I help where do I plug in let me do this let me do that just seeing what needs to be done and in a sense, that's what that's what Otter is, is being real family. Jenny, would you like some key lime pie while you wait? I would. Did you feed it to me? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Burning Man. So what we need to do is create the 100th monkey. Become that 100th monkey of collective group consciousness that in fact now creates paradigmatic shift. I think this appeals to my 
clean side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, there we go. Uh, but so, this bite is definitely about. Uh, I was really feeling the need to be freed from my hair. I felt like it was really tying me down. Now you've got danger kitty and safety kitty. That's right. For me, the best thing about Otter Camp is that there's two drum kits. <laughs> One that stays in the camp and has a PA attached to it, and one that's on a moving vehicle, and I get to go cruise like I always wanted to. Otter camp is about having fun gracefully. Yeah, we picked up the two shot. I drove her here at 40 miles an hour from the ranch. We created this awesome camp and we created magic here. We created healing for the planet. can you take back with you when you go? A whole bunch of love in my heart and a whole bunch of fire dust and um, lots of great, great memories. We have an amazing community and it seems like the energy has shifted here from one of let's get together and party to well, let's get together and party and do it with intention and healing and a lot of people being able to really help each other out this week. Don't leave home without them. Why, why do we have to leave here and go into the default world? Why can't we just take this and make all of our surroundings equal to this? And I guess what we take home is hopefully that sense of community that's really deep. And it's also really nice to have a community that just lasts a few days. You know, one of the things that's great about Otter Camp is that 
uh, after doing this for a couple of years, um, you can see the shift that happens in people's consciousnesses, where they're bringing some of what happens at Burning Man more into their daily lives. This is not about just one weekend. This is about taking uh, the seeds that we plant here and bringing those seeds back with us. It's one big clan of people from all over the United States all coming together in the most beautiful way. And it stays with us all year long.